Hey Glam Dolls, welcome back to our channel. I hope you guys are fabulous today. So, not much is going on except um, this weekend is my birthday. Yay! And uh, to celebrate my birthday, I'm going to be doing an awesome giveaway. So, you'll definitely want to tune in. By the way, my birthday falls on Sunday, which is an up which is an upload day for me. Sorry, I had the hiccups. But it is also Father's Day. So I get to share my holiday with everyone. Yay. But really, it's Desiree was born day. Woohoo! So yeah, we're going to be doing an awesome giveaway. So stay tuned for that. And today we are continuing our celebrating of Pride Month. Um... This is, you know, the month where we get to celebrate everyone getting to be free and being who they want to be, loving who they want to love, and really it's just a month about love. So I'm going to work my way through the Pride flag colors, and last video was red. Today is going to be orange, and then once we get to the very end of the rainbow, I'm going to be doing one big, huge, blowout, rainbowy look to celebrate pride, um, and, you know, just celebrate all my fellow human beings who just want to be treated like everyone else, and I don't think that's too much to ask, and pride is all about awareness, and so... Something that I learned while um, I was looking into, you know, different pride celebrations and things like that is each color of the flag has a different meaning. So I will start off each video telling you um, what each color means. And I didn't learn this till after I filmed the last one. So red was for life. And today, orange is for healing. And what a better color than orange to celebrate that because it's bright and it's the sun and it represents a new day. And a new day brings on healing as the days go on. So I'm not trying to get all philosophical on you guys, but I just wanted to, you know, throw that in there. So today I'm going to be creating this look right here. So stay tuned if you want to watch this tutorial. Actually, I recommend you stay tuned and watch this tutorial because why would you make it all this way and not watch the tutorial? I mean, yeah. All right, guys, see you in just a bit. So we're going to start with our eyes first, and I'm using my Violet Voss Nicole Concilio palette, and I'm going in with Mars, which is this deep orange color, and I'm starting on the outer corner and blending that into my crease and taking that all the way to the inner corner of my eye. Now, I've had this palette a really long time, but to be honest, this is the first time I've ever actually used it, and so I just go back and forth and build this up, and... To be honest, these colors actually blended out like a dream. When I first got it and swatched it, I wasn't very impressed, to be honest. Now I'm going into the Physician's Formula Butter uh, Palette and using that gold tone on to highlight my brow bone and where I um, left space on my mobile lid. And I'm just going to pop that right in there and blend that in and then go back in with the brush that I had Mars on and just blend that around there and blend those two together. And I'm going to come back to my eyes in a minute. I'm going to go do the rest of my face and I'm going to use the new NARS foundation, which this is and the new Dior foundation are my two rider dies right now. These two foundations are everything. They are full coverage, lightweight. You barely need anything and you can do your whole face and still be so full coverage, but not like cakey. That's why I love this foundation so much. And then I'm just going to use my Tarte Shape Tape and go ahead and apply, smother, and ass load underneath my eyes but don't worry I am going to blend it all out and use it to highlight the center of my face and uh, my chin nose and forehead as well and so we're just going to blend that all out and now I'm going to go in with some air spun and a wet um, morphe 
contour sponge and basically kind of bake underneath my eyes and in all my creases by my nose and my laugh line so that way I don't crease up later and I'm just basically putting a buttload of powder where I want to bake and um, then I'm going to take my big fluffy powder brush and everywhere I had powder sweep that away and the parts that didn't have powder I'm using whatever was left over from baking to blend that out and kind of make it all nice and matte and then I went in with the butter bronzer and just uh, bronzed up my face a little bit the one that was in the light palette and now I'm going to go in with the Hoola bronzer to contour because this one's a little more cool toned. So I like using this one to contour my cheeks, my forehead, and my chin. And for highlighting, I'm going to go ahead and use that same gold color that I used on my eyes. And watch the magic happen. Watch this right here. Look. <gasps> Oh, oh my God, this highlight is everything. Both of those highlights are literally the most pigmented highlights I've ever used in my life and they take no effort at all they blend out amazing and the pigmentation pigmentation is just off the chain like seriously so now I'm going to go in with the sleek solstice palette or it came in the little solstice palette um, collection that I got and it's these orange pumpkin-y colored blushes that I love and now I'm going to finish my eyes and I'm going back in with Mars and going on my lower lash line and sweeping that all the way across and Honestly, this eye look is so easy. It can be done in like five minutes. And then I'm taking that gold color on a thinner smudger brush. That's what I call it, a little smudger brush. And just smudging that in the center to kind of just open the eyes up a little bit more and just brighten them up. And then I'm taking my cream uh, colored liner by Japanesque on my lower lash line. I've been really digging that to open up the eyes a lot more instead of doing a black. And then I'm using this brown Jordana cheap two dollar eyeliner that I love so much and sweeping that just across my lash line and literally just smudging it across my lash line and I'm going to use the Butter London double decker mascara I got in my BoxyCharm a couple months back I forgot how much I love this mascara it is like one of the few that make me look like I actually have lashes it's amazing and now I'm going to go in with my Ardell Demi wispy foam ink lashes and I'm just going to pop those babies on and try to get them situated. They've already been worn once so they fit a little bit better. Um, I'm just trying to smush them into my real lashes. I like to take my fingers and press them in, press my real lashes and the fake ones together just so they all kind of blend together a little bit better and that way you can't tell. And now for my lipstick, I'm going to use Hunty, which is the perfect nude, in my opinion, uh, by Jeffree Star. And then I'm going to take Lord by Kylie Cosmetics and sweep that over. And then I'm going to take her Poppin' Lip Gloss on top of that and just sweep that over as well, just to give it a little bit more shine and a little bit more goldness if you will. I don't know. Lord, I feel like is the matte version of Poppin, which is the lip gloss. So they kind of just went hand in hand together. And to be honest, I've had Lord forever and never used it, but it actually looked kind of pretty. It wasn't too gold. And now I'm going to take uh, my Urban Decay Quick Fix or Rebound Spray just to set everything down. And this is the final orange look. I hope you guys like it. I had no idea what I was doing today. I literally just turned on the camera and whatever came to me, came to me. It was very simple, but it's actually a look that I would feel comfortable wearing out. I know a lot of people are scared of colors, but... This is a way you can wear color and still look presentable and classy. That is all I have for you today. I hope everyone that gets to go out to Pride in your city has a blast and I will see you guys next time. Bye!